So I want to design a compelling question about the topic of culture. And I want to do that for kindergarten. Now, if you were to look at the cast for social studies, um, the whole idea and the theme is like kindergarten, myself and my community. And culture is one of the things that kids really start to learn about in kindergarten. So I was in trying to design this question. I was trying to figure out what might be a good compelling question about culture. So first, I thought of this question. What is culture? In thinking about this as a compelling question, like I know one of the things we like to do is we like to use the word how, right? Because that kind of leads kids more to um, being more open ended. Right. More open ended can have a more even in kindergarten. still have a more complex way to answer it. Right. It's not just yes. It's not just no, whatever. Um, and so culture in itself is kind of a difficult term, right? In the sense that it's very broad. So when I was thinking about this, I was like, OK, well, what is an appropriate starter here? Because culture is big, right? Sure. So d does it work to have what is culture? Now, the only question I have is so when I think about it and so what I've done is I've copied those questions about like, how do you evaluate your compelling question, right? So um, in evaluating this, I think it is open-ended because culture in itself is a definition it is large. Um, is it enduring? I don't know. Um, I think kids would always come back to it, but I think at some point it's, um, I don't know. I, I wonder if it's enduring. Um, the thing that I think I really have a, I don't want to say, I, one of the things that doesn't feel right about this question is that I wonder if it allows for multiple perspectives. So like, cause I look at, um, like I look at the standards and I say, okay, like the geography one with, with culture and the standards actually says identify and describe. So then in that case, I almost wonder if what is culture is too narrow because I wonder if like the whole idea of a compelling question is that you should be able to look at it through multiple disciplines, right? Yeah. So I wonder in that case, does that then make what is culture too narrow? Does that make sense? It does. And students at kindergarten may, they certainly would not necessarily have the nuance to look at the word what and know that it's allowing for description perhaps in the way that you would want them to see it as an open-ended question. Right. So let's, so then I'm wondering about incorporating more of the theme and see if that helps because you know this whole like this whole theme for kindergarten is um myself and my community so i'm wondering if we incorporate that theme if that allows for multiple disciplines to come into that kind of conversation okay. so i'm wondering so if we go back up to our question so what is culture um let's talk about it with how um what about something like how does culture impact my community what do we think about that so so it's stating myself and my community Mm -hmm. And I mean, in community here in kindergarten means like classroom, school, sure, sure. immediate local community. So, I, I mean, that is certainly it, it, it allows for multiple answers. It is open ended. Do we feel like. And obviously there is instruction scaffolded to that question.
Yeah, I mean, what? So what I was thinking is, is that how does culture? And I don't, and I don't know if this is right. We'll we'll go through the checklist and, and keep thinking about it. But like, I think about um, how does if we go back to the question? Like, I think of how does culture impact my community? Okay, so is um, is there ways that we can pull in, um, you know, a, a civic standard? Does something like examine the ways people work together effectively to make decisions? Does that, it, it can, is culture a part of that? Or even the identify local and Kentucky state symbols and events, like things that are happening right. in their community, they could that's, utilize in responding. And that's even probably better, right? Like, because actually I think that's, perfect right like so then like a supporting question might be if we're going to try to think about this discipline approach to it right um you know uh, and again we will we can we, we can make the supporting questions a little bit tighter later but this is just to identify the multiple perspectives component of it but to your point like you know how does culture necessarily in, influence the events in my community mm -hmm, right mm -hmm. um okay so then think about even things like economics could we pull economics into that the this question of how does culture impact my community my you, oh, sorry go ahead i was just going to say well you have the various jobs i think even i think even their analysis of needs and wants within a community would give clues as to how it's being impacted and shaping culture and then what yeah and like i think about even this one like identify places and communities that provides goods and services oh so that's like, a good one yeah. think about the diversity in your community that's a result of the culture and then just look at the the places that are there in your community that provide those um i think um i think we're I think identify and describe the culture of communities applies pretty well, right? Like, I know that's kind of something we've already talked about. Um, and then if we look at, I mean, look at, I mean, look at this standard, the history standard of, you know, identify and describe how communities change over time. Oh yeah, that one's great. Is, is that something where they can see how culture impacts their community? Okay, so we think we can, hand, we think we've got the discipline specific part of that yeah pretty easily sure okay so and then of course we can revise that as we um think about how we want to um i think i think let's evaluate the question and then we can work later about um like the supporting kind of question discussion is important in allowing this multiple perspective and multiple um views on the compelling question but then we can really later really hone down and making sure that they're appropriate supporting questions for kindergartners so okay so let's pull this up a little bit so we can evaluate at the same time so um is the question open-ended definitely is it enduring yes does it center on sig significant or unresolved issues i think so like it's if certainly significant yeah, I mean, it's not technically an, uh, maybe an unresolved issue, but I do think that's one of the things that's important for kids to see is that maybe if you're looking at change over time, how does culture impact that? Um, and this is the foundation of that. Is it a big idea? I think culture is a huge idea. Yeah, for sure. Um, is it intellectually challenging? Yes. Yes. Does it generate interest? I think so. I think I think students would, because again, it's their home, it's their community, it's something they're invested in. And it, and, it talk, and it really makes that connection between culture and the world that they, and the, immediate, the immediate world that they're living in in kindergarten. Like, yes. what is their class? What are the calls? Which is really, classes? and again, that's opening up for them as they are in school for the first time. Yes, that's true. Um, and then, um, so we've done the multiple perspectives. Can it be answered in a variety of ways? I think so. Yes. Um, and I think you get at that when you definitely look at it specific discipline specific and um, kind of how we figured out the, the um, multiple perspectives and the different ways you can answer the question. It does inspire investigation through the discipline strands. I think so. How do you feel? I do. Now, I will say initially, I was not sure of that, but when we went back to the standards and really looked at the links that we could make, it was obvious that it was, um, even though my initial instinct was like, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> right. And then I think this is something, too, when we think about, you know, and I love the rooting it in the standards. And I also think about how when we talk about an enduring 
you know, is, is it an, an enduring question? This is something that kids can constantly repeat as their understanding of, like as their understanding of community expands. Yes. Um, throughout their social studies education. And moves beyond just their local community to the much larger world. I mean, that's something we would want a student in grade 12 to be able to process. Right. Exactly. Okay, it sounds like we have our compelling question. I like it.